there everybody hope you all had a really great weekend um, certainly feels like fall out there now doesn't it um, whoops I'm gonna adjust just a little bit here so sorry for the bump there we go um, yeah so it really feels like fall out there now I don't know about it, how it is where you guys live but our trees around here have been the most beautiful um, anything that's like yellows and reds is really thriving this fall and oh my gosh especially when the sun is shining it is so gorgeous to drive around now I just love it um, all right we'll wait for a couple more people to hop on um, I wanted to let you guys know if you are local to me I will be at my one and only local craft fair this fall on Saturday from 9 to 3 it's at Eastside Lutheran School and there's the address 2310 Independence Lane um, if you're familiar with the East Town Mall area, if you would drive up the road that would go next to McDonald's across the street from there, you'll end up at the school on your left side. So that is where that is. Um, I'll have stocking stuffers, cards, um, gift card holders, little treats for your Thanksgiving table and Christmas and stuff like that. Um, I'm keeping it kind of low quantity this year because like I said, it's my only one now, um, but I will be taking uh, custom orders for anybody who needs anything for their holiday tables or if you have secret Santas, that kind of thing, I'd be happy to um, talk to you guys about a custom order. Um, so if you happen to be local and out and about and interested in um, a craft fair, that is where I'll be on Saturday. They do a very, very good job, lots of really um, good variety of vendors and you could do some of your really, really fun holiday shopping there while you're out and about. All right, so let's get started. For tonight, I'm going to be using Nature's Harvest, which is in the mini catalog on pages 54 and 55. Um, there's the stamp set. It has a, 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 a coordinating, there we go, die set. Um, some of them will cut out the images. Some of them are bonus shapes. Um, it also has a really pretty um, selection of DSP that matches. That's where you'll find that really cool cork paper that's been super popular. It's been back ordered twice already. It's like, it's just crazy. Um, I know I told you guys to pick out small stamps and you're probably looking at this and going, what in the world? I'm going to be using this one and only just little portions of it. So don't be a, don't worry that you picked out the wrong thing there. <laughs> All right. So let's go over what you should have handy tonight to be getting inky here. All right. You're going to want a card base. Um, oh, you know what? I believe I wrote that down wrong. It's four and a quarter by 11 <laughs> and scored at five and a half. I had that completely the wrong way. Um, if you have it this way, don't worry. It'll still make total sense by the time we're done. Uh, but I forgot I had a, a, a more tent fold on this one. Um, and then in that same color cardstock, you want a piece that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I am using Bumblebee. And just in case people pop in later, I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite that. So it's four and a quarter by 11. And your score is at five and a half. So ignore that part right there. <laughs> um, all right. So again, I'm using Bumblebee. And then for your neutral pieces, so again, that's white vanilla um, anything that would go work. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you tonight. Um, anything that would go, go well with your, um, what you've picked out to go along with everything. You need four squares that are one and a half square each. And then another square that's three and a half by three and a half. Alrighty. So like I said, you want little images and little phrases. So go ahead and get those ready and have your four squares handy. If you have the same image, um, go ahead and put them in three of the four squares. If you have different ones, you could make them all different. So one square is going to be for your phrase and the other three are going to be image related. I am going to take the, um, the thank you stamp right here. And I know when you look at it, you're going to go, okay, well, that's kind of long. That's not going to work. I'm going to show you how I break some of those up sometimes in order to use them in smaller spaces. I take my post-it note. I'm going to cover up for now the word you, and I'm just going to ink up the word think, okay? And I got a little bit on the Y there, so let's go ahead and take that off. All right, now excuse my head if I have to go over the top here. Oh, it flipped over. <laughs> okay, so there's my word think, and I just realized I forgot to bring over my um, cleaner. <laughs> okay, I think I got that cleaned off pretty well. All right, and now I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'll cover up the word think. If I can see it better, there we go ink up just the U. The most important part of this is always to remember to take off the post-it note because otherwise you have a big inky blob on there. Oh, and there's my U. 
Okay, so I've now taken that one phrase and broken it up into parts. Um, this is a great way to, to do some masking on if you have really long phrases and you only want to use a couple of the words. That's another way to go. That's another way to do it. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to take that image that I showed you before. I'm going to ink up the whole thing just because it's easier to work with. But I'm just going to put a portion of it onto each of my squares. And I'm going to try to do different angles so that I get a different kind of idea or piece of that flower in each of them. All right, I think I'm going to go off this side now. Okay, so you've got different parts of that same flower um, taking up each of those spaces. So hopefully you've got your images in there as you'd like. And the rest of this is going to be really lickety split easy. So the first thing you're going to do is take that three and a quarter piece of um, cardstock that matches your card base and your adhesive, which I managed to hide over here. There we go. <laughs> um, now, as you can probably predict, we're going to put those four squares onto this square with a little space in between them. So you decide where you want that. Um, Hi, Mom. Good to see you tonight. Uh, we decide where you want the phrase to be. I'm going to put mine in the lower right corner. You guys can pick. Uh, it's your layout. You do whatever you want. So I'm going to pop my thank you down here. Now you're going to leave a little bit of a border around each of them. And to start, you might want to lay yours out so that you get a feel for how much room you need. Okay, and decide which ones, especially if you've done something like I did where you've broken up the pieces, decide which way you like it to look best. And like I said, that leaves, you can kind of see then like how much room you need around each of them and you won't be trying to peel up something that you've already put down. Okay, so there goes my next square. And this square. Over there. And finally, my last square. Oop, I had it this way, I think. Over here. Okay. So there are my four squares mounted onto that three and a quarter inch piece. And now take that three and a half neutral square. And again, you're just gonna layer on top of that, like so. Now at this point, if you have any other embellishments that you wanna be using, you have ribbons, if you have um, rhinestones or pearls or bling or anything like that, kind of get a feel for what you're gonna wanna do with that. Um, if you want ribbon that's going to go all the way around, now would be the time to do that. If you're just going to put a little knot or a bow in the middle, that works just fine anytime. And it's your choice now if you want to pop that up on dimensionals or not. Because um, when we mount it to our card base, we're going to put it down to the corner like so. Okay? Is your screen stuck? That's a good question, Mom. Um, hopefully, I'm still going. <laughs> can, can you guys hear me? Can somebody give me a thumbs up or something if I'm still being live? Hopefully, this is going. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to take this and add some dimensionals. All right, anybody out there that can see me? Did I go dark? Hmm. All right, I'm going to take a minute because I don't see anybody giving me a thumbs up or anything. Oh, there's my actual house phone going off. Um, all right, let me see. Hopefully we are still in business. Sorry about that. <laughs> I hear you and can't see what I'm doing. Okay, interesting. All right, let me look and see what we got going on on my screen here. Okay, just gonna wave under here. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, there it goes, okay. So I think, did that help? I hope um, that the picture is back for some of you. Um, if not, I will definitely have this video to post later um, if we can see how that's working out. So hopefully, Mom, it's just a, an error on your end um, and that everybody else can See and hear me. Let me know if you can't see me also so I can figure out if that's problem on my end or mom's end. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the dimensionals. All right, to see some love. So hopefully that means somebody can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, mom will get you figured out in a little bit here. Okay, and you're going to put it to the bottom right corner then of your card front. Okay, so that is... Oh, good, Kathy. Thank you for the feedback. Okay. So there is that finished product. 
Um, Mom, you might want to maybe just like close it out and try to go back into it. Maybe just sort of like presses a reset button for you. It's the um, internet equivalent of turning it off and turning it back on again. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so while you guys are finishing up yours, let me show you what I did. Um, here's my stepped up version. So a couple things I changed. I obviously, the most, the, um, probably the most obvious one to you guys is I changed my neutral color. I did, you did, okay. Hmm. I changed my neutral to crumb cake because um, I, I like to use that sometimes as a neutral because it fits in pretty nicely with some of the other fall colors and things like that that you see. Um, so I did those same flowers, but then I took my white um, uh, watercolor pencil and I did just a tiny bit of coloring on the flowers themselves so that it just made those little images pop a little bit more. I added a couple pearls. I added a little knot of the bumblebee checked ribbon one of my absolute favorites. It's so cute, and I really wish we got gingham ribbon in other things, <laughs> other colors. <laughs> um, and then I put a piece of the designer series paper behind it, actually, um, instead of just plain cardstock. And this is the one that comes from the Nature's Harvest, the one that matches that stamp set. I also have a layer. Might be hard to see here, but it'll show up better in the pictures. I did a layer of bumblebee on here that I embossed with the well-worn words. Oh, good, Mom. Glad you're back. Okay. Um, the well-worn um, type, there we go, well-worn type embossing folder that's in the mini catalog. Um, so that's one way you can think about stepping it up. Um, if you wanna add, this is pretty much a um, kind of a monochromatic look, so you could think about two changing up colors, um, which is where I'm gonna go next, and I'll show you what else I did with that. Um, here's one I did for Christmas, and I wanted to show you guys some of the stamps that you might not necessarily catch a glimpse of because they kind of are overshadowed by what might be in the rest of the set. So for example, this is the Sweet Little Stockings, the one that has all the cute little stockings and the puppy and the kitten, and I think we're going with hamster. Is that what that other third one is? <laughs> um, but here's that really adorable present and the, the very cute phrase, very merry. Um, so I just did those. I did one in those in each of the squares. I colored the presents um, with my blends, just did opposite colors. This is um, shaded spruce and real red. Um, and I thought just made a really cute, um, and it pops so nicely because it's, uh, they're smaller images and that white I think just makes it pop really, really neatly. Um, so there's another option. And then you guys know I like to flip it every once in a while, flip the, um, the, the layout. So here's a birthday card I did. So this is polished pink. Uh, gorgeous grape and daffodil and I used the polished pink ribbon that matches I um, I added these white pieces underneath because the whole concept to me kind of looked like a present which I thought was pretty appropriate for um, a birthday card and that one in case you don't already know is actually the penguin set so there's your balloon and this actually has the happy birthday in it, so it's totally cute. Um, there's little presents, there's a little like gift bag. So this doesn't have to just be for Christmas. I mean, it's for every penguin loving person ever for whatever they're doing. <laughs> um, so there again, that's just an idea of um, flipping the layout. So same concept, same measurements, um, just turned it on its side. That's all I did there. Uh, again, added a little bit of more pop um, with more color and stuff, but um, the, so that's kind of the cool thing. You can go with really interesting um, bold colors or again stick to that monochromatic like look which is where we started out okay um, and then I will show you where I got inspiration for this one I've been um, going through a bunch of my old cards prepping them to sell at my craft fair and I came a lot came across this one that I made a long time ago um, this is actually the color is clover I can't even remember what the first part of that was uh, call me clover maybe um, which was an in color a number of years ago <laughs> so that tells you how old this card might be um, but same concept that's there's the squares there's my layer with my designer series paper in it the whites and then I took that ribbon all the way across and did a bow across there so that's um, I came across this one as I was um, going through all my cards and I thought what a cute little layout and I love the concept of this to me right away just said it looks like a gift so I would even think about doing like a bow up here you could do um, it would make it look like, a, uh, like I said, just like a present. I think that was really kind of cool. Alrighty. Well, Mom, I'm glad you got your screen fixed so you could hopefully catch up and see what was done. I'm going to lay them all back out here. All right. Because they're all vertical, it's hard to get them all on here. Okay. I think we got them all now. 
<laughs> and there, of course, is the last one from the Penguin set. All right. So thanks again for everybody for jumping in and joining me tonight. Um, sorry for that little delay while I was trying to figure out if it was glitchy on my end because it would really be a bummer if you guys couldn't see me <laughs> and see what I was doing. Uh, alrighty, this will post to the page really soon and I'll have the pictures of the samples up there as well. If you've made anything tonight or in the future using this layout, don't forget to share it. You can post it directly to the page um, right under the link for this. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. Thanks for joining me tonight. And Mom, thanks for popping in too. And anybody else who might be here. Um, I will hope to see you guys. Well, you know, see me. <laughs> see us next week uh, for another episode on Monday. Good night, everybody.